think one of my questions is how many times I've been outside. Well, today is beautiful out here, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, we're getting ready to do. Well, I'm getting ready to do a tag. It's beautiful out today, y'all. Beautiful. I'm getting ready to do a quarantine tag with the help of one of my quarantine family members, Mirabella. All right, guys, let's get started. Today is May 15th, by the way. I want to do my tag right here. It's pretty out here. Y'all look at Mirabella. She's been playing in makeup. What y'all think? Mm. Her daddy said no. But that's quarantine life. She upstairs playing in makeup. We're just trying to uh, continue to stay busy. I haven't cleaned out this yard yet. Y'all look at Marabella's hammock. She comes out here and sit down when she wants to get away from us. That's part of her quarantine life. She gets in her hammock. Her dad sits down there with her sometimes. She hasn't really been jumping on the trampoline, y'all. You getting in? No? All right, don't fall. She's chilling. Quarantine life. You miss school? You ready for the quarantine to be over? Yeah. Yeah. What's the best part of quarantine? Mm -hmm. Not having to worry about turning inside and sit on what, What's the worst part? Uh, boredom. Boredom. All right, guys, let me start my quarantine tag before the quarantine gets over with. Yeah, because some of y'all out and about, been out and about for like two weeks. Yeah. All right, y'all, come on in the house. I'm not coming, I'm gonna stay, I'm not gonna stay out here. Y'all come on in the house, let's start. What's up, Fee? It's Vivica doing the tag finally. Uh, she did the tag and tagged me. I'm so happy because when the tag was going around, Nobody tagged me. And when you're watching people do tags, I don't care what nobody says, you're sitting up there with your lip poked out because when nobody don't say your name. So and my lip was poked out. And I didn't even realize that Fee had tagged me in her video because I, they unsubbed me from her channel, all kinds of stuff going on. But anyway, I'm doing the tag now, Fee. So, uh, yeah, y'all go check out my girl, Fee Marie, if you have not subscribed to her channel. She tagged me. And I will put her channel link below. All right? So, how am I going to do this? We just came back from... Oh, you know what I'm going to do, Mirabella? Mirabella, mm -hmm. I'm going to text you the questions. And then you can just call them out to me because I don't have another device to look it on, okay? One reason I had to come in because my allergies are messing up. Thank you. And my hands are so dry from washing my hands. Another result. Well, that's not really true. My, I always wash my hands a lot before. I wash, wash them triple time now. But, uh, yeah, need some lotion for these hands. Yeah, so let's get started. I just text Mirabella the questions. And she will yell them out to me. Okay? okay. We'll do it like that. Now, question number one of the quarantine tag is... Question number one. Did you prepare for the quarantine or did you just wait until the last minute? I actually... Um, I, I, I'm just going to describe what happened. The quarantine in my state happened basically on March 15th, honestly. Um, and... I realized technically that there was about to be a quarantine because I went to the store doing my normal shopping and there, were, there was no tissue, none, nowhere. I didn't know there was gonna be a thing. And I actually have a video up right before that, uh, you know, talking about all of this happening as it unfolded. And so to answer the question, I guess the answer would be no. But I am the type of shopper that my house always has a month's supply of basically everything. So I really didn't have to prepare. But when it was time for me to go get my regular's month supply of stuff, that was right during the time when the quarantine happened. Okay, so 
Question number two, are you secretly happy at your home or are you miserable and can't wait to go outside? My life really technically only changed a little bit because I didn't go outside the home to work. I'm a, uh, you know, I work within, in, in my house or my home. So nothing really changed for me as it relates to me being secretly happy. Not like I had to go out and do a nine to five and be like, oh my goodness, great. At that time, we were thinking it's going to be one, two weeks max. So maybe I guess if I was like working, I might have said, oh, I'll be home for a couple of weeks. Hey, well, I, I am home all the time. So yeah. And I think what bothered me was I am home all the time, but the mere fact that somebody was telling me I couldn't go out, that was kind of annoying me a little bit. But hey, I did what I had to do. Yeah. And that was back during the time before we were masking up and everything. So I'm kind of glad I'm doing this quarantine tag now because my, my views and opinions are totally different being two months into this versus being two weeks into it or a couple of days into it. Yeah. All right, Mary Bella, question number three. Okay, the last person I checked on during the quarantine, let me think about it, probably was my aunt and my grandmother. Yeah, because I called them basically every other day. Um, yeah, probably my aunt and my grandmother. Although we almost went to check on my aunt and uncle today, we didn't. I checked on them also. I'm always checking on somebody, y'all. I'm kind of like, hey, what y'all doing? You need anything? Because that's what's been happening during this. People have done that to me, and I have done that to other people. So I just check on people, you know, in my just calling people and saying, hey, you know. But if I had to say a person, it'd probably be my grandmother, checking on my grandma to make sure she was okay. During the quarantine, uh, my day is spent uh, doing what I normally do, typically. That's not necessarily true because, see, I'm home now with my daughter from college. Magnolia came home early because of the quarantine, and Mirabella came home early. So her day has been, they asked about my day, though. Okay, let me think about this. Nothing's really changed except me trying to stay out of their way while they're trying to finish their day. Yeah, nothing's changed because I was typically home, you know, all the time. Um, both both my daughters are self-sufficient, so I don't even have to help them get online and, you know, do what they have to do to further their education. But uh, my day really didn't change, really, you know. I spend my time um, taking care of the house, you know. So, yeah, nothing really changed for me in that respect. I'm quarantined with uh, my daughter from college, Magnolia. Y'all know she, like most college students, had to be, um, you know, sent home early. Um, that was kind of a shock. And now we're just kind of used to it. But yeah, when that first happened, wow, that was a shock. So I'm quarantined with Magnolia. I have a daughter, Mirabella, who has been home doing, uh, finishing her school year now. We found out two weeks ago that they won't be going back to school. So she'll be finishing out her eighth grade year at home. And uh, we are hoping that she will be going to high school next year physically. I don't want remote learning for high school. And uh, also in the home is my husband, but he goes out. He's an essential worker. My husband has not skipped a beat since this has happened. Um, his job is such that he has to work. I've been outside a bunch of times. I just came back from outside, y'all. So y'all saw outside a minute ago because I was going to do the video outside. My neighbor is actually having some work done on his pool and they're playing music and I didn't want to get a copyright. So it's beautiful now. When this first started in March, we've been having some unseasonal like weather earlier, like in March, it was still cold. We actually, it was like 30 degrees here um, two or three days ago. Yeah, we had some really low temps. I think the earth is kind of giving itself a relief and our temperatures may be reflecting that. Uh, but I go out all the time. We just came back from Gabe's. I'm going to show y'all a haul in a minute. Um, 
yeah, so I got I go out all the time. I can't count how many times I go out. Now, now, in the beginning, I was going out and just coming back home, washing my hands, using my sanitizer. But now we kind of suit up when we go out. We have to wear masks in New Jersey. All of the stores require you before you walk in, you have to have a mask on. The governor wants you to be with a mask on, you know, when you're walking around. Uh, but I don't wear it when I'm walking around. Like in my backyard, I'm not going to have my mask on. Um, yeah. So, but I go out all the time. Too many times to count. Now, do I just make it a point like, oh, I'm going out today? Today, the girls and I want to get out. Gabe's is open. And this is probably the first or second time where we just went out with the uh, plan of doing something other than doing something essential. Because all the things we have are not essential, even though they're clothes and personal items. They're not essential. We could have lived without them. Another thing that I've learned during this quarantine, a lot of stuff I can live without. Yeah. Next question, Mirabella. How many hours per day are you sleeping? Now, sleeping, my sleeping pattern has changed because I'm sleeping later. Uh, typically, my day starts when Art leaves for work, but it doesn't start like me jumping up and starting to, you know, do what I have to do. Art leaves the house about 6, between 6 and 6.30. And before, um, Mirabella would be getting up for school. Now, I didn't have to get up with her to, you know, to get her ready for school. But typically, once she would get up, I would get up. But now my day does start a little bit later. So I'm probably staying in the bed more. I'm not saying I'm getting more sleep because I don't really, I'm not a nap type person. Um... So I think, I, I think I'm getting the same amount of sleep. I'm just staying in the bed longer. What is your favorite food to snack on during the quarantine? Everything. Now that, I know, the, I said the COVID-19, I feel like, y'all, I have gained 19 of that dash 19 back on my body. I've been kind of easing back a little bit, but when it first started, it you know, and y'all see my grocery hauls. And another thing, um, I've been overbuying, even with essentials, because I'm on the other end of it now. The question is, what was my favorite snack to snack on? Let me let me stay focused. Everything. I, I snack on sweets, salty, fruits, veggies, real food, chips sometimes, popcorn sometimes. Um... Yeah, just everything, everything of stuff I shouldn't be. I've been trying to curtail it a little bit. We're getting ready to go into summer. I'll show you guys. I picked up a couple of outfits that, hey, you know, you need to kind of watch it. So, but everything to answer that question, everything. And I do realize after watching, uh, being on the other side of the pandemic, meaning not in the very beginning when they were telling us to, you know, get enough food as if you couldn't get out for two weeks, I still was overbuying because technically we have not been without food. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. But I'm still overbuying. The refrigerator is just packed to the gills. My cabinets are packed to the gills. The only thing I did stop myself from doing with the meat, you know, listening to the news, you kind of get just frightened, like I'm not gonna have what I need. And with the, with the meat shortage, I did not run to the store and not necessarily hoard meat. I did not turn my freezer on in the garage uh, to store food in. We just keeping the main food we you know normally have. I have a freezer full of food. Uh, we have more than enough. And if push comes to shove, I do seriously have enough food in my house uh, for the next three, probably four weeks. Seriously. What have you been watching? Uh, we've been watching a lot of Netflix. We 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 uh, the Office for sure. I watch my normal shows. Y'all know what shows I like. Um, but we've been doing a couple of movie nights, watching Netflix and stuff like that. Um, we've been watching the Michael Jordan special, The Last Dance. That's a good one. Well, my husband and myself, we've been watching that. But we have been sitting down watching movies. The Clark Sisters movies came on uh, during this pandemic. Um, yeah. So, and I watch YouTube videos also. Okay. How much toilet tissue do you really buy? Do I really buy or do we really need? Really buy. How much toilet tissue did I really buy? That's the question. Now, just like I said, I usually keep a month's supply of everything in the house. Just period. Afterwards, when I found out there wasn't any toilet paper, I was going on a mission to get it. And now I still have in my stock toilet tissue that I bought 
three, maybe even four weeks ago. Uh, we are stocked and still have enough. But um, to answer that question, I did overbuy because it was just time for us to buy our regular supply. So in addition to buying my normal monthly supply of toilet tissue, when I saw extra, I would just basically get extra. So I probably have a month's supply plus maybe three weeks. Yeah. Okay. But I will tell you this. I am going to start to stockpile and have items like that on hand. I don't want to be caught off guard again like that. Having a month's supply, that's nice and all. But, you know, I buy such that I, I should have on the real, I should have like six months supply of everything we need for non-essentials, non-perishable items. And I think I am gonna start, I know I'm gonna start doing that. I haven't started yet, but uh, moving forward, each month that it's time for me to go get my extra supply, I'm gonna grab an extra this. So if I'm getting my normal supply of tissue, I'm gonna grab an extra supply to put in my stock pile. Yeah, and I think that's just a good way to be. Uh, so if God forbid something like this happens again, I hope nothing like this happens again. You know, I'm ready, and I'm not out there in the streets trying to find what my family needs. And technically, yeah, with the tissue, yeah, I did have to kind of look. But yeah, but that's what I'm going to do, okay? What's next, Marbella? That's the last one. That's it? Oh, okay, that's it. All right, so now it's time for my um, Gabe's haul. How long has this been? I don't know, y'all. Y'all come back for a Gabe's haul. And that is it, guys. Thanks so much, Miss Steve Marie, for tagging me in this video. I was going to do my Gabe stuff, but I'm going to come back and do that. Uh, y'all go check out Fee's channel. It will be linked down below, Miss Fee Marie. Now, I'm not going to tag anybody, I don't think, because this tag kind of went around already. If you haven't done it, do it. Uh, and, and, and tell me you did it, and I will watch it for sure. If you... You know, I'm going to put the questions down below. If you don't mind answering the questions in the comments, especially if you don't, you know, share content on YouTube, I'm curious to know your questions. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video, which will be a Gabe's haul.